Dear fellow scholars, this is Two Minute Papers with Károly Zsolnai Fehér. We had many episodes about new, wondrous AI-related algorithms, but today we are going to talk about AI safety, which is an increasingly important field of AI research. Deep neural networks are excellent classifiers, which means that after we train them on a large amount of data, they will be remarkably accurate at image recognition. So generally, accuracy is subject to maximization. But no one said a word about robustness. And here is where these new neural network defeating techniques come into play. Earlier we have shown that we can fool neural networks by adding carefully crafted noise to an image. If done well, this noise is barely perceptible and can fool the classifier into looking at a bus and thinking that it is an ostrich. We often refer to this as an adversarial attack on a neural network. This is one way of doing it, but note that we have to change many many pixels of the image to perform such an attack. So the next question is clear. What is the lowest number of pixel changes that we have to perform to fool a neural network? What is the magic number? One would think that a reasonable number would at least be 100. Hold on to your papers because this paper shows that many neural networks can be defeated by only changing one pixel. By changing only one pixel in an image that depicts a horse, the AI will be 99.9% .9 sure that we are seeing a frog. A ship can also be disguised as a car, or, amusingly, almost anything can be seen as an airplane. So, how can we perform such an attack? As you can see here, these neural networks typically don't provide a class directly, but a bunch of confidence values. What does this mean exactly? The confidence values denote how sure the network is that we see a Labrador or a tiger cat. To come to a decision, we usually look at all of these confidence values and choose the object type that has the highest confidence. Now clearly, we have to know which pixel position to choose and what color it should be to perform a successful attack. We can do this by performing a bunch of random changes to the image and checking how each of these changes performed in decreasing the confidence of the network in the appropriate class. After this, we filter out the bad ones and continue our search around the most promising candidates. This process we refer to as differential evolution, and if we perform it properly, in the end, the confidence value for the correct class will be so low that a different class will take over. If this happens, the network has been defeated. Now note that this also means that we have to be able to look into the neural network and have access to the confidence values. There's also plenty of research works on training more robust neural networks that can withstand as many adversarial changes to the inputs as possible. I cannot wait to report on these works as well in the future. Also, our next episode is going to be on adversarial attacks on the human vision system. Can you believe that? That paper is absolutely insane, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. You don't want to miss that one. Thanks for watching and for your generous support, and I'll see you next time.